Hey, what's up, everybody? Christmas time's upon us again, and uh, behind all that shopping and whatever religion that you practice or holiday that you celebrate, uh, music has become an integral part of that whole holiday scene. And of course, being that I'm so outspoken about the songs that I like and don't like, a friend of mine has recently asked me to compile a CD's worth of songs, of Christmas songs, that I would give someone. Now, when it comes to holiday music, most of the classics or the traditional songs are embedded into our brains. Do we even need to own a CD with Holly Jolly Christmas on it? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? I mean, this is not really something that you listen to year-round, unless there's something wrong with you. Or the songs are that good. But, um, Christmas music is weird because it's timed. You have a short window to listen to it, um, where it's relevant. So, but you know, while on that subject, being on a short window, isn't it funny that Christmas just gets bigger and bigger every year? At my local mall, they were putting Christmas stuff up right after Halloween. Like they don't even care about Thanksgiving. That's an entire different commentary I'm not even going to get into. So, making a CD's worth of Christmas music, I thought was going to be easy, because I'm not really a big fan of traditional Christmas music, um, but it was a little harder than I thought. But, uh, I looked through my iTunes, uh, my iPod, my CD collection, and uh, I picked out a CD's worth of music that I think that uh, represents the songs that I like. I can't think of them from the top of my head, so I made me a list, and I'm going to be checking it twice. That's far I'm going in that. So anyway, let's get to it. First off the list is, um, let's see, Christmas Time is Here by Vince Guaraldi, the Vince Guaraldi Trio. This is from the, the soundtrack to the CBS Christmas special that's part of everybody's childhood. And if a Charlie Brown's Christmas is not part of your childhood, you've lived a very sad life. This whole entire album could basically be the soundtrack to Christmas in general. Every single one of the songs is awesome on that record. A lot of atmosphere and uh, some smooth jazz. And you can never go wrong with smooth 60s jazz. So that one's definitely on the list. My favorite song off that one is Christmas Time Is Here. Check it out. If you don't like that song, you probably don't like Christmas. Next on the list, I have Christmas All Over Again by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. My favorite lyric in this song is at the very end of it when he says that he wants a new Rickenbacker guitar, two Fender bass mans, a Chuck Berry songbook, and a xylophone. Me too, Tom! That's exactly what I want for Christmas. Only you can keep the xylophone. Check that song out, it's awesome. Next on the list, I have What Christmas Means to Me by Hanson. Yes, I said Hanson. Don't judge. I know it's blasphemy to pick that version of the song when there's plenty of under wonderful versions of that song, especially like from Stevie Wonder. But what I do like about their version, yeah, it's sugary bubblegum pop, but I really like the hook they add to it. Um, the original song, most popular probably by Stevie Wonder, doesn't have a hook. It's got great lyrics, good production, but there's no legitimate hook to the song. And it's pretty pathetic to say, but Hanson actually added a hook to the song that makes it even better. Um, Stylistic-wise, I'm not really sure if what he's singing about is what Christmas is really about, but uh, works for me. Next, we have Up on the Housetop by the Jackson 5. <laughs> the Jackson 5 only put out one Christmas album. They come out in 1970 at the height of their popularity. Um, I pick this song because it's so funky and weird. He's, Michael Jackson sings it at such a rate, it almost makes you nervous. <laughs> um, that's a weird Christmas song anyway. Maybe that's why I like it the best. Next on the list is Let It Snow by Luscious Jackson. Remember them? I do. They were good. Um... It's only like a minute and a half long, and I'm not even entirely sure if they recorded a full version of the song. It might have just been for a commercial. But um, what I like about it is it's everything that the late 90s were about all rolled into a pop song that just so happens to be Christmas. Um, 
it's quick, it's sugary, it's overproduced, and kind of crams in a bunch of digital production that was kind of the thing in the late 90s. But still manages to be pretty decent. Good song, good band, check out their other stuff. Kind of wish they'd still be around. Up next on the list is uh, 2,000 Miles by The Pretenders. Yeah, it's a little sappy, and here within the past you know 20 years, it's become one of those definitive Christmas songs that you hear like in Macy's or at Starbucks or whatever. And on a technical side, it's not really a Christmas song. It's more about um, long-distance relationships. And actually, it's about uh, the guitarist from the group who passed away a couple years before the song was written. Uh, so it's sad. But it's a good song. The Pretenders are a really good group, and um, can't have Christmas without that one either. Uh, speaking of sad Christmas songs, next on the list is Merry Christmas Will Do by Material Issue. Uh, Chicago-based power pop group from the 80s and early 90s. Um, it's really sad that uh, this band didn't go further. Um, they were really, really good and criminally underrated. Um, and just like The Pretenders, it's a sad Christmas song, but it's not all about presents and snowmen and whatever Christmas song's about. It's about a bad relationship. Um, and like it or not, sometimes we get that for Christmas. Good band, good song. Check that one out, too. Um, next on the list, going to brighten up a little bit, um, so to speak, is Super Sunny Christmas by Red Cross. Power pop greatness at its finest. I really can't compliment Red Cross enough. Uh, they've been out since God knows how long. They're still out doing it. And uh, this is their Christmas song that I, I really dig. It might be hard to find a physical copy, but check it out. It's awesome. And who wouldn't want to have a sunny, super sunny Christmas? I do. I live in Chicago. Next on the list is Frosty the Snowman by the Ronettes. Um, when I think of Christmas music, this song first comes to my head. This is the song. I remember being really, really little and hearing this in stores and uh, on television, on the radio. This version of the song. Um, it's Yeah, it might be a traditional, but it's produced by Phil Spector. I mean, come on. It's Phil Spector. But the best thing about this song is that it reminds me to never to go out and buy a fancy Cadillac right after uh, a big heist went down. If you know the reference to that, you're awesome. Second is Sleigh Ride by The Ventures. You can't have surf rock without Christmas, right? Christmas without surf rock? I don't know. It's The Ventures. Instrumental, the classic song. Um, can't say too much about it because there's no lyrics, but it sounds like Christmas. Good enough. Uh, next on the list is I'd Take You for... Wait, I'd Like You for Christmas by Julie London. Um, Julie London was a, a jazz artist who was one of my favorites. She might not have the biggest voice in the industry, but she knew how to use it. Um, you, normally you don't think of sexy sultriness when it comes to Christmas, but it works for her and it works for me. Check it out. Um, let's get a little superficial here and go with uh, All I Wanted for Christmas Was a Skateboard by Super Deluxe. A punk rock Christmas song. And pretty fitting, too, because uh, lyrically it's about uh, a kid wanting a skateboard and not getting it for Christmas. And this song is basically a temper tantrum that rocks and makes me want to skate, even though I'm fat and when I fall off a skateboard it hurts. Next on the list is Jesus is Real, God is Alive by John Davis. Um, by looking at that title, you think this would be a traditional Christmas song. Well... It isn't in a way that it's mostly played by Indian music until the last minute and a half till it kicks in the guitars and stuff. Beautiful Beatles influenced track and lyrics are actually about the birth of Jesus. Imagine that. Christmas song about Jesus. The whole reason why we celebrate it. Or why I celebrate it or Christians or whatever. Good song. Um, next on the list is Marshmallow World by Darlene Love. Another Motown um, Christmas song. Technically, it's not Christmas. There's nothing Christmas about the lyrics other than snow and pine trees and marshmallow candy and all that type of stuff. You've probably heard the song a zillion times by now because Target's using it on their commercials now. Uh, but growing up, this has always been one of my favorite Christmas songs. Again, technically it's not Christmas, but I still love it. Good song. Um, I could probably enjoy that any time of the year. It don't have to be Christmas. 
And wrapping things up, I think I'm going to go with one of my all-time favorite Christmas songs. It's Christmas Wrapping by The Waitresses. <laughs> We've heard it a zillion times, and um, it's been used in movies. It's a pop song. It's new wave. It kind of flirts with hip-hop a little bit. A little bit. You know, hip-hop of the widest variety. Um, but most importantly, it's about what Christmas has become to most of us nowadays. This is not something that we celebrate. It's something we have to deal with. And that's really sad. You know, uh, Christmas isn't about um, going out and breaking your neck to get presents and put up Christmas trees and all this stress of family and all that stuff. It should be a time about your family and relaxation. You know, we don't get enough of that these days. Uh, the song's performed in a very humorous way. The lyrics are friggin' brilliant. Uh, production's awesome. It's a little dated by today's standards, but that's okay. I'm a little dated by today's standards. Um, so, yeah, I try not to drag this on too long, but uh, there you have it. Those are some of my favorite Christmas songs. I'll, I'll put a link in the video description, and uh, you can hopefully check these songs out if you haven't already. You probably know most of them. Um, kind of predictable like that. But um, thanks for watching, and Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Festival, whatever. Whatever, happy end of the year holiday that you dig. Aaron the Autophile, signing out.